Hi guys, Grassroots to Glory, episode 7. Let's see how we're getting on after the first month. Hi guys, welcome back. It's Route 1 FM here. We are month 1 completed. We're bright and see in season 2. Let's see how we're getting on with them. Obviously, we're going to take a look at the competition side of things. So, Velocity Trophy, we still haven't had a game in that yet. Builder Base has just been drawn against Hungerford Town, so it should be good. And FA Cup has not been drawn yet. But the league, this is where it gets interesting. Obviously, we'll go through the results and have a look at some of the games, but we are simp in the pitching league. Premier League. Oh, excuse me. Um, looking at it, fantastic start. As we said in the last video, just before the first game, we were predicted, and obviously, you can't see. Um, actually, if I just do that, Quickly, we are predicted to finish bottom. Um, sorry about that, it might annoy people, people moving it, but we're predicted to finish bottom, and as you can see, we are sitting seventh at the minute after seven games. What a fantastic start for us! A uh, better start than last year, I must say. But four wins, one draw, two losses. Uh, goal difference of eight. So, and uh, we've had an absolute storm of victory, I think, in our last game. So, we can uh, we'll go and have a look at that one. But let's have a look at obviously the schedule where we've been. So, as you know, we've done the friendly, we've done the first game of the season, which we lost 3 2. Uh, Whitehawk, we then had next, and uh, our first home game. Should we watch the, um, let me see if we watch the goals in it. Because that was quite a, quite a good game, actually. So, as you see, we'll watch the goals. That's their team at the minute. So, um, when it decides to load up, here we go. We won this 2-0 with uh, Dudley getting there and Alan. So, we'll check out the goals there. So, it was... Um, after the fight back in the first game, which was fantastic for the club, it was, what could we do next? And um, to go, it was very unlucky to lose 3-2 in the first game of the season. So we needed to change it up. So we had a couple of changes in there. Um, I might have to get through and show you the team difference. It was more personnel than uh, formation. But here we go. After eight minutes on the clock, ball over the top, little dink, pass the defender, and he just took the keep on one on one. And what a cracking finish that was! Free kick from Walla Lassen, straight in, and Allen there has just sneaked in at the back post and scored a sec scored a second goal, which I thought was great. Um, just gonna that's how we're playing at the minute. So we've got the three in midfield. At the foot, four at the back, and uh, then the two wide men and one up front. So, uh, so that was a good result. So, going from that to a 2 0 win, we then had Lebenhead come in and we beat them 1 0 as, as well. So, it's looking good. Should we see if we can get the goal from there? Why not? So we've got pretty much same sort of team again, apart from McDonald's switch to the right, uh, from the right to the left. Walla Lassen moved forward, Willett's come in, and Webb at left back. So there were some good, strong personnel people there. But we got to, this was a hard game to break down, to be, to be honest. If you just look at the notable events, there was no action until. Obviously, mainly the second half um, wasn't the best game. We got a 
but our XG was 1.85 to their 0.30. So it was good in a way, but Henry with a free kick, straight across, Silver nods it back, and Dudley got his head on it. So it was a hard game, it was a hard one to break down, but we got the victory, which was the main thing. And only Silver come on there, so it was making an impact, Silver. Um, Cheshire Hut, Chess Hut, uh, then come in, and we beat them 4-1. Um, that's even better. So it's, I do, tell me if you like this format. I'm going back over the month, so, but let's have a look at the goals for this one. So we've gone, you've seen how we've been lining up. So we've got Amos coming on the, on the left, back forward, same. So that he was... Basically, our only change on the left with McDonald going into the middle. We'll see how this goes. Um, now, and obviously the difference. You look at my, my XG level has gone so far up. It's brilliant. Now I find uh, a good game, if you, a, a good way of playing. So a settled team, which is brilliant in this league. Um, I've heard it with a few other players who play the um, lower leagues so that they can't settle the team because of anyone could be poached come the, like, towards the end of the season, last game of the season, at any time. So it's hard to keep a nestled team down. And when you're semi-professional, that is true. Uh, but in this case, the core of the team were pretty much here last year. So look at that. Will it out wide? It's gone up to Ammo, who crosses it in, and look at that header there. Three defenders there, and Dali's just got onto it. So he was happy. Toe play. Nice little bent one in there, which was fantastic. Toe play again. He's gone for it. Off the cross of and then Willis just smashed home. First three out. Obviously, our first. This is the first goal we've seen for a while. So Kyle took that very well. So. Um, Deserve that for Henry in the silver. Silver, oh, look at that, just slits across. Ammo coming around the back. Keeper should have been should have been better at it. So, but a four-one victory nonetheless. So it was looking good. We were heading towards the top of the league. Um, we lost then one 0 to Folkestone. David Smith scoring there. After 75 minutes, so we tried our hardest to go for it. Then, Carson, um, we come away with a 1-1 draw, but here's the big game. The big game that probably everyone would like to see. <laughs> how, can I, how can I put this? Brighton Sea Region 4, Braintree, who... Currently in in our in real life play in Conference League South. Nil. This was ah. Oh, if I could put it in in words, it can, it's breathtaking. The team. Look at the team stats there. Every player above a seven. It was absolute fan. Bloody tastic! If if you had to put it in a way, you couldn't. This has action all over it. This was game of the weekend as well. So what more could you ask for? It had go ahead. <laughs> he had everything. So you think the likes of you, everyone who watches the Lujo goes. He goes on about pain. So saying he's the best deep line playmaker and all that. I just made him look like a Sunday League player in this. He was non-existent. Look at this. Wallow has a free kick. Dark Jury up there. Nods it straight across. In. Wallow Lassen again. Straight across. Bullets off the bar. Unlucky. Deflection there. McDonald. Into Willets. Into Darling. And a little chip over. Look at that. Delaney just cushions it past the keeper on that last shoulder. And that was for an old car into McDonald, Willits, straight across, toe plate, bottom corner. There we go, 4 0. 
what more could you ask for there? It was an absolute fantastic game. Um, and that's where we're at in the minute, should we say. So, we've just gone over the month, but obviously I bought you the first game of the season. So, But we're going to try a new format where we go through to every month, and at the end of the month, I do a review of what's happened. So, we'll get through this one. So, we've got Hornchurch, Margate, and Casual there with a couple of unknowns depending on the FA Cup and the Velocity Trophy and then Hungerford Town so you got three more league games three cup games before we get into November I'll get them done get them sorted um, that Braintree attendance we've got 246 there at home uh, 175 175 well, so, Braintree Town is our highest attendance at the minute. Um, let's get into, let's look at the, the bigger stuff. So, finances, we're in the red, 75,000 basically now. Um, profit, we're not, we're not making anything at the minute. Um, income's only come 4,000. And expenditures is 8 grand. It's not... The best, I must say, um, we've got to get some uh, wages off. But I want, this is where I want it, I want a bit more sponsorship. But obviously, I'm not getting, I'm getting 100% there. But it's projected that I could lose, if it keeps carrying on the way I'm going, I could be losing up to a million pounds at the end of 23-24 season. Transfer budget still non-existent, but the vision is still there. The vision the board is pleased with. Me. We're struggling to work with waste budget. Yep, I'm working on that. Transfer-wise has been very, very slim, but we're up to a B. We can't go any more um, high. We'll, we'll have a look at the transfers because obviously... I see we brought in Page, we put on Wayne Wright and Joe Jackson just to fill up the midfield. Wayne Wright and Jackson are central midfielders. Page is a winger, haven't used him yet. He's been getting Matt Sharpness, can play on the left, so he's only had one reserve game. Lewis Wayne Wright, again, gonna have some good potential. He's only twenty one years old. He's come from Blackpool was just where he first started, so we'll Playing in the centre probably a bit more and get him uh, up there hopefully a bit to become a bit more of a star and uh, Joe Jackson then 24 years old so a bit more with the experience sort of a better player than Wayne Wright but he's come from quite a start of his career 2012 so with Cambridge United so we're going to start looking into that and getting there we'll try and get rid of some more uh, people but let's have a look at the team at the minute so we know how it is you can see there I've got some few low stars like Jesse uh, Waller Lassen don't really want to take he's only a two star but he's one of our better performers performers actually and totally is going to be our player of the season seriously he is looking fantastic um, he's already got three goals in six games this season, so it's, he is fantastic. And now, new vice captain. He is new vice captain. Our captain now, because it was Charlie Turner, and I feel like as a keeper, it he was trying to read the game and all that, so I made the decision. Lex Allen is now our uh, captain. So... Obviously, this season, seven games, one goal. So far, as you saw. Uh, but he's our best central defender. He's got a good value there. Um, if I want to. He is contracted as well. So if I want to put him on the transfer list, I can make some money back. But it's height, six foot seven. Now, that's a tall player. He's, actually, while I'm here, I will, if I can, da, 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 da. 
ambassador duties. Um, I want to see if I can put them on a. Can I put them on a. Yeah, I send them on a leadership course. That's what I wanted. Board would get back to me. But he is our. I do apologise for that. I think our top defender. Our new right back, Rio de Silva, apparently is unhappy. And I've got to find out why. In a way, because he's very good in a way. But it's. Let's have a look. Uh. Maybe in public, unhappy the squad hasn't been strengthened. Well, I haven't got the money, but uh, it's happy performing well at the club. Police were training, so I'm a, I'm reserved on him. But you see this, I've got people wanting players, but I've got a couple of players, a couple of goalkeepers there, quite young keepers, um, and with Will White again. Only a three-star from just left Swindon um, to look at. Got them on, on um, trial at the minute. But we can only go go there and see what we can do. It's an interesting one. Our top goal scorer is Daly in the league. Um, we've still got Romeo Dunn. And uh, a few of the fans are taking the 21 seconds smash hit by So Solid Crew and uh, saying that uh, Dunn's got to get at least 21 goals. Um, so he, every time he plays, he's got 21 goals to score. So uh, hopefully we can get that chanting on. So, But that's my very poor rap skills there. But guys, we're doing well. Like I said, just outside the playoffs, we've been as high as second, but we've had the fantastic seasons. Start to the season that I I couldn't ex uh, expect anything less. Please like the video, subscribe to the video, and check out the next one. Guys, I'm Route 1FM. I'll catch up with you next time.